Fora TV. The world is thinking. My own view on taxes is that the federal income tax code is just an abomination that's a huge dead weight on the American economy. Just quickly to put it in perspective, Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, which defined the character of the American nation, 268 words in length. Talk about good editing. Uh, Declaration of Independence, mostly Thomas Jefferson's work, 1,300 words. Constitution, 5,000 words. The Bible took centuries to put together, 773,000 words. Now you take the federal income tax code, all of its attendant rules and regulations, nine million words and rising. And nobody knows what's in the thing. You don't have to go to the Amazon to find exotic creatures. They're crawling around this thing. The, 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 the tax collectors, the tax collectors don't know. Uh, you call their hotline. 25, 30% of the time they'll give you the wrong answer, hold you responsible. They don't know what's in the thing uh, many times. And then uh, a few years ago, a few years ago, Money Magazine did a survey and just for fun. They took a hypothetical family's finances gave the numbers to 45 different tax preparers, experts in the field, asked them to prepare that family's tax return, and you know what they got back. 45 different returns, 45 different estimates of what the family owed, thousands of dollars of difference. The experts sometimes get tripped up on this thing. And so I think when you look at things like spending six and a half billion hours a year filling out tax forms, look at all the wasted energy, angst, brain power on this thing. It's the biggest source of corruption in Washington. Half the lobbying revolves around the tax code, infects and pollutes everything we do. I think we just should take this monstrosity, kill it, drive a stake through its heart, bury it, and hope it never rises again. Just simply start all over again. And, <clears throat> and I'd replace it with a simple flat tax, single rate, 17 percent, would apply after generous exemptions for adults and for dependents and children. Family of four, for example, no tax on your first $46,000 of income, no tax on savings, and no death taxes. I believe you should be allowed to leave the world unmolested by the IRS. Or, or, or as our founders might say, no taxation without respiration. And, and on the business side, uh, we have now the second highest tax in the world, lower our Profits tax is 17%. Get rid of depreciation schedules. If you make a capital investment, write it off in the year in which you make it. If you have a loss, carry it forward against future profits to use the thing up. You simplify the thing like that, I think you'll see this economy take off like a rocket as we apply our brains and do things for the right reasons, not for trying to get around the shoals or manipulate the tax code. Uh, 25 countries have done it in recent years, particularly in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, where it's been tried, it works. They get more collections because of its simplicity. If you make it, you pay it. Also, the lower rates make it more worthwhile for people to do productive things like uh, productive work, taking risks, and uh, moving ahead. So this is not a laboratory thing, an academic thing. It's working in the real world. Eventually, I hope someday we'll do the same thing.